Hello and welcome to another episode of The Elegant Life. My name is Erin Kurt and I am a spiritual teacher as well as coach who assists women in living and manifesting an exquisite life for themselves and then the collective consciousness as a result. So welcome. If you are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell because every Wednesday I send out a little nugget of wisdom to move you forward in your life. So today we're talking about negative emotions. We all have this idea that they are bad. Are they bad? Hmm, interesting. What would you say if I asked you, are negative emotions bad? Well, in many ways, yes. Not bad, but harmful, because I don't want us to put judgments. Spiritual women who choose to live elegantly recognize that the energy that they come from, divine source energy, is a non-judgmental energy. So there is nothing good and nothing bad. There are certain frequencies that are lower that can actually do harm to us and others, and those are basically based on emotions, okay? Because when we're feeling in a lower vibrational state, because of some negative emotion going on, running in our body, anger, shame, guilt, resentment, uh, all of these will create our behaviors. So if you have resentment, you're going to lash out at someone. And if you have anger, you will yell and be impatient and these kinds of things, okay? So they are harmful to yourself and others. They can also be harmful to your body because if you have trapped negative emotions within your body, eventually over time, they will create some dis-ease in your body. That is all the kind of harmful things about negative emotions. But as a spiritual teacher, I want to tell you something. Negative emotions can be your biggest gift. Hmm, interesting. When you have a negative emotion and you are a woman who is part of this community, you recognize it because you know that if you're feeling something that doesn't feel like love or peace or joy, you're off center. You're away from home because home is the energy that you really, really are. It is your divine source energy and you only feel positive emotions when you're in that state, okay? So if you're off from that, you are conscious enough to recognize it. Now, the, the positive of this is that, huh, you recognize it and you see it. So already, you're not in it, you're separate from it. Perfect, great state to be in. This is the first step. When you're not conscious of something, you can't change it. Here's what you can do on your own if you start feeling something so that these emotions do not become trapped. There's two strategies that I have found for me personally and for my clients that work like that within five to 10 seconds, okay? When you recognize that you feel this emotion that is on a lower frequency, Go inside and visualize a light bulb with a dimmer switch. We all know the dimmer switches, right? A dimmer switch, the way it actually works, is that when you turn it up, you increase the electricity that's going through the bulb, therefore making it brighter, okay? When you envision that light bulb inside of you and you turn up the light, you are turning up the energy of light inside of you and immediately you will feel completely home-centered, light, back in balance. But not just in balance, a feeling of wholeness and in the present, okay? So let's try that right now. You're feeling an emotion, you recognize it, 
Oof. Okay, thank you. I didn't realize I had something. I obviously have something inside of me. <sighs> Light bulb. Dimmer switch. Turn it up. Turn it up so that that light bulb is so bright and shining and then it's just glowing throughout your whole body. That is one thing that I do constantly. The third thing that you can do that is so simple, again, is to recognize, uh-huh, there's something within me, didn't know that, wow, thank you, emotion, for showing up. This is like a gift from the divine. This negative emotion is like a gift, uh-huh, clear it. What you do first is by getting separate from it and then going internally and I just visualize a whiteboard, a clear, shiny whiteboard. And I say in myself, whiteboard. As soon as I say whiteboard, I get that visual whiteboard image. <sighs> There's nothing written on that whiteboard. It's neutral, it's clear, it's whole, it's peace. And you just hold that whiteboard for as long as you need until you feel your mood shift. Now, what you'll recognize with a lot of these techniques is it's gonna take you to go inward. And so, what a lot of people suggest is when you're feeling a more negative emotion, you step away from that triggering situation. And I really suggest that too. You can say, look, I'm not in the best mood to talk to you right now. I need to go by myself for a second. You can go to the bathroom. You can go to another room. You can go into the car. You can go anywhere, but get out of the situation. If you really can't, going away from the situation is closing your eyes and going internally. That is a way you, you can quickly, quickly get in. The whiteboard is quick. The light bulb, it's like a five second thing, okay? This is one of the biggest, best things I could ever teach you to do and that you can practice. I do these things every day and I'll tell you, that is how you start living the elegant life. That is how. You have to put these things into practice and always the first step is becoming conscious and saying, aha, aha, all right? So with this new information and these new gifts and tools, make it an elegant week and we will see you next time.